It's not just snow pelting Minnesota during this winter storm. Above freezing temperatures are making it a mixed bag of precipitation for many towns. And that warmer weather might make several appearances this month. Is Minnesota's coldest month trending warmer? And what are the implications of rising temperatures? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. 2023 started literally with a warm welcome. Will be the warmest New Year's Eve we've had in 11 years. How about it? Happy New Year! A midnight temperature cracking 30 in a month notorious for sending thermometers plunging to bone shivering depths. Going through about the middle of the month, it's pretty high uh, confidence of being above normal. Pete Boulay is a climatologist with the Minnesota DNR. Does it feel like January is getting warmer? In the past, uh, 20 years, there's been a, a couple of years in the past where we've really uh, had warm Januaries. You know, 2006, 2012 are both in the top 10 warmest Januaries on record. The average temperature for a Minnesota January is a high around 23 degrees and a low close to nine. That makes the overall average around 16 degrees. The warmest January on record uh, is 2006. We had 28.6 degrees for an average temperature. Having a January thaw is normal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Almost every year we have a January thaw. A January thaw consists of two days in a row above freezing. In 2017, there were eight straight days above 32 degrees in the Twin Cities, forcing the ice castles and skating rinks to close while some golf driving ranges opened. And that's kind of what's happening this January too. We're not seeing any sign of that really cold below zero air coming down to the Twin Cities at all and it's being bottled up in the Canada and way north in the Canada too. What are the implications, if there are any, of having these warmer Januaries? It obviously affects ice condition. Ice fishing companies on Mille Lacs are crossing their fingers. Temps stay below freezing to make the ice safe for vehicles, and pothole season could also have an early start. A lot of freeze and thaws on pavement That'll start working uh, to break down the pavement. There is plenty of one element this season, however, that helps prevent record warmth, snowpack. Uh, if you have almost no snow cover, then the sun's energy can go into warming the ground, warming the air, instead of just reflecting off into space. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Temperatures that trend above freezing this month can also help certain invasive species survive the winter, including emerald ash borer and Japanese beetles. If you have a good question for Jeff, just email him through wccocom links.